Hi. Welcome. How are you? Someone asked me the other day, what is the secret to enlightenment? <laughs> A ridiculous question. But not ridiculous to the one who asked. Very serious to the one who asked. The one who's asking is the one who will get. This is the only question you should ask. The only question that is really necessary or valid in your world is a question about you. Not the external you, the body you, the cosmetic you, the appearing male you. Any question you're asking about yourself, the sense of knowing you exist, the sense of knowing that it's not just this that's happening. There's something more. Not more in the outside world, more in you. There's something in you that needs to come out. It needs to be seen. It needs to be exposed. What is the secret to enlightenment? What a question. Who asks these questions? No one at school says to the teacher, Miss, what's the secret of enlightenment? The teacher is silenced by these questions. Ask the teacher, what is the capital city of Spain? I actually don't know that one, but you know, I'll guess on, um, anyway, the teacher will know. <laughs> because the teacher's mind. Anyway, I'm ashamed. Madrid, yes, no, Barcelona. I don't know, someone can help me with that. What is the secret of enlightenment? Sorry, what is the secret to reach enlightenment? Enlightenment is not anything different from life. It does not have a start and a beginning. This moment that exists now, now, now. Not the moment before, not the moment after. The moment now. Every time you say now is a true moment. No thoughts come into your head when you mention the word now. No knowledge of who you are, what you are, where you are now. For that one split moment, second, you disappear. And what remains is the moment, now. You cannot disappear. The thought of you as a person as a body, as a man, in a place, in a home, disappears. You are there to recognize the now, the moment, because you are this moment. This moment has no beginning or ending. How can it have a beginning or ending when every time it is here now? It doesn't start and stop. So, my answer to the question, what is the quickest way, what is the secret to reach enlightenment? Since the beginning, not of time, since the beginning of you, you have been enlightening. When did you begin? Not in your mother's womb, not nine months before, not in your father's testicles, not when your father was born, but when the first human was born. Do you see, the make, it makes sense. You are the result of your mother and your father. The father is the result of your grandfather and grandmother. All connected. You cannot, be, you cannot have not been here. You cannot have not existed. When the first one was born. So collectively, we are the first one. So, enlightenment began when life began. You began 
when life began. Sometimes you, from this beginning, in a time-based world, you appeared in a body and out of a body, and maybe many bodies, maybe as nobody, maybe asleep. You'll never know unless you look. But you cannot look outward because the beginning comes before. It's very, very straightforward in life. It's extremely simple. It is going on all the time, but you are traveling alongside it. You are traveling alongside it and you're unaware that it is traveling with you, connected to you, but with you. It is like two trains are moving, you and the other train. The other train has become invisible, and then suddenly you look round, and the trains merge. And for a while, you become this sage, this train. You experience enlightenment, and you assume it starts when the trains merged, and it'll stop when you go back onto your own track. You're never not the same train. The train is just separated. You become a person and you, the true you, continues invisible along the adjoining track. <laughs> but the train from the beginning, you, is enlightening. But you don't experience it while you're separate from it. While you're alongside it, asleep, experiencing, enjoying this world of mind and form and action and doing and excitement. So enlightenment is simple. It is straightforward. Find yourself. Keep your mind off of the track that you're on and go on to your true track which is not moving neither of these tracks are moving go on to your own track your real true track and you become enlightened in a body and when you go back onto your own track you're back clean empty, free. Everything is less serious. Everything is frivolous. Everything is just hunky-dory. You don't do the things you did before. You don't watch the news and all the horrid atrocities that happen in the world. You know. You're not ignorant of the fact. It's your life. You're not responsible for all these things. So why should you feel guilty for all these things? The secret of enlightenment is to simply ignore. But as Muji says, it's not a practice. You don't, right, I'm going to ignore today. You cannot ignore from the mind. Chop your head off and you'll become enlightened quicker. The slow way, just watch. Watch your mind. Examine your thoughts. See where they go. Meditate every minute you get the chance to not to meditate with the mind. Meditate away from the mind. Your object is to try and find where the mind goes and comes. That's the long way. For some, maybe quite quick for you. The quick way to enlighten the secret, chop your head off. Look from here. Practice looking from your heart. Assume that your minds will go back through your optic lenses and are here. Not here. The third eye, I've always been suspect of it. 
It is not here. It may look through here, but its destination is in the horror, between the heart and the navel. It is for this one. It may be different. Where your true looking is from determines your unique relationship with the one. Some look from the root. Some look from the sacral. Some from the heart. Some from the third eye. Some from the crown. Some But all of these places are connected to one point, round about here, out with your body. You are actually not looking from within. You are looking from without, through within, and out. There is no secret to enlightenment. There is only your way of enlightenment. I have pointed a couple of ways, a couple of things. Maybe the worlds will resonate. Maybe you have experienced this to some of these areas, some of these which you call chakras. You have experience with Reiki, Kundalini. All these experiences are leading to the train merging. Don't give up. Don't give up. The one who asked the question, I did not laugh at. I did not take unserious. I did not take serious. But I know. It was a great question. What is the secret of enlightenment? Not what is the capital city of France? I know that one, Paris. <laughs> Not totally stupid. The guru lies within, but he also lies without. Your guru may come through you. He may come through some external master, like Papaji, Muji, Adyashante, Eckhart Tolle. All of these philosophers, Krishnamurti. For me, my influences were basically Muji. But my experience, my full ultimate experience I would say maybe resembled UG Krishnamurti and Eckhart Tolle put together the experience dissolved it blew the person away it wasn't a case of step by step mind watching for days and days 40 days 40 nights out there walking in a daze not knowing where I was going what I was doing, what was happening, walking in and out of the body, doing nothing, just witnessing, not particular things, just someone controlling, giving up control to the one, to the spirit, to the soul, whoever you want to call it. It's nice to hear things like this. It's not about ego. It's good to hear that yes, we point to do it on your own, but it's also good to hear that there are millions of people out there helping you. Everyone is helping you, but you can't see it. The secret to enlightenment is you're going to experience it. When you start asking questions like this, it's guaranteed. It is guaranteed. When someone asks a question, what is the secret to enlightenment? What is the quickest way to enlighten? There is an urge, a desperation, a need, a desire. So if you find yourself on sites like this, because you've asked a question to Google, Google it, YouTube. What is the moment? 
Who am I? For where am I looking and as what? What is my purpose? Am I this mind? What is ego? I am the body. All these questions are about you. Even God. Is there a God? It's about you. Finding God. You see? Everything is pointing at you. Every thing that you project out is pointing back at you. You have billions and billions of clues. Everything that's happening in this external world that appears to be happening is a mini happening of what you're looking for and where you're looking from and what you're looking from as and whether you are the seer or not. No one that has experienced this will laugh at questions like this. No one will take it lightly. Desperate to help. I sit here desperate to show you, to take your hand and lead you and help. But I know you want to do it on your own. You have the option of many hands on the way, just to lean on, shoulders. Take them. Watch YouTube. YouTube's the greatest thing ever. The greatest thing is the internet now. Society, if it has some sort of ulterior motive, is shaking in its boots because it's being exposed. What it invented is turning against it. The internet is fantastic. You can get the information immediately. An advert for YouTube here. I can click on anything, any question, any word, and I get an answer. I may skip, I may not. You have the power. The secret to enlightenment is through you, is you, is within you, and it is out with you. It is everywhere. It is everywhere. You, the one who's looking, you are nowhere. Looking at everywhere. Experiencing everywhere. Everything. And knowing. But I want to have a glimpse of home. I'm not ready to go there yet. But I'm completely open to seeing it. I'm completely ready, prepared to see, to turn around and see as Ramana Maharshi said, I was looking, knocking on the door and when it opened, I was looking from the inside. If you've been out experiencing since your body birth in this body and you've been enjoying this something world and this crazy world of forms and places and trying and improving and doing and overdoing and then great now it's time to turn now it's time to experience where all this is taking place your nothing world your simple peaceful enlightening freeing world and you train will merge when you reach this inward point this point that stretches that is here, actually here, but it goes on as far as the universes and galaxies go on that way. Mind can't get round that one. It cannot get round distance, physical distance. This point is infinite. It goes for billions of light years to this beginning. So you search this way. And go on and on and keep going, keep rejecting, keep going beyond, beyond, beyond. And not this, and not this. So much joy will come, push it aside. Everything that you've been told not to, if joy comes, keep it, it's yours. No, push it aside, keep going, keep going. Go beyond and beyond and beyond and beyond and beyond. And don't stop. It'll stop for you. 
you won't disappear. And when you come back, you have tasted something and you have tasted nothing. And where are you? You are the Buddha. You are Christ. You have experienced what these saints experienced. And you have become them balanced. Completely at peace. Completely stable. And a changing world. You cannot not experience movement, even if you are stability. If a tree is standing rigid, thick, 80 years old, hard, form, big diameter, and the wind goes through it, the tree thinks it's moving. The wind passes by and it experiences moving. And this is you. You are a permanent experiencing change. The two cannot be separated. The two cannot ever be separated. You can never be separated from the track. The greatest news ever is death. Is meagre. Is nothing compared to where you are right now. Where you always be right now. If you see this God, this external God, as a giant figure in your life, he's minute compared with you. But he's not the real God. And you are not the real God. You are the essence. This universe and galaxy that you look at through your eyes is yours. Everything is yours. You're not here to listen about, oh great, cars, I can have as many houses as I We're not speaking this materialistic, minor, meager, pathetic way that you have experienced for so long and are now chasing. You are rejecting. Because there is something greater, something bigger. You. The truth. Enlightenment. You are the secret. Everything that you want to experience enlightenment you have to be you the real you not the ego not the mind not the you you the person you the body you the form you none of these you before you and before you and you and you enough You are the secret. You cannot find a secret. You are the secret, pretending that you are unenlightened to experience enlightenment. And you'll do it. I've got money on it. Namaste. <laughs>